hi and welcome back to another video in this cyber panel tutorial for beginners if you're watching the video in the playlist if you are on windows watch the windows playlist if you're on linux or mac watch the playlist for mac users you can find the description in, you can find the links in the description below and if they're not there just remind me and i will put them there for you or you can just look for them in in my playlists on my channel so in this video we are going to add a user with pseudo privileges on CentOS 8. If you're on a production server you should always avoid using root and therefore you're going to need to create a new user and then you're going to give this user pseudo privileges so that they can run root commands. At some point we're also going to disable the root user from logging in and we're also going to we're also going to disable login via password. But for now let us create a new user and then add the pseudo privileges to that user. You can find all the commands for this if you come to bizanosa.com you can search for centos 8 add new user and you can click on the results for this or you can just go into the description below and click on this click on the link that will bring you to this and you can follow along with all these commands here first things first let's log into party and we already have the server saved here so i'm just going to double click on it and then i will log in as root and i will come back here to get the password i will copy the password from there and then right click to paste into party so when you're pasting passwords or typing your password you won't be able to see it i'll press enter and you can follow along with this just to see how to do it so let me add a new user So I will add the new user and then let's change the password for the new user. So input a strong password, use mixtures of alphanumerics, capitals and special characters. Retype the password. right so the new user has been created then the next step is to add them into the will group so that they can have the pseudo privileges so if you come here you can just copy you can just copy that from here and and it will be added for them so let me just copy this i don't want to type copy and then i will put that here so on party i can just right click to paste user mode ag and the name of the user so then the good thing about party i can select that and then once i select it i can just right click and it will get pasted for me there and then i'll press enter all right so as soon as i do this now this user can use can use pseudo privileges so let's just test that and we can test that by switching to the new user and we do that using su Now we are logged in as the new user. We've just switched to the new user. Let's see if we can use sudo. Uh, we can use the sudo command. And the first time you use sudo, you're going to need to type in your password. So type in the password for the user, and this is the user that you create that you created. Right, so you can see our server is up to date and we did not receive any error telling us that, oh, you don't have the privilege, you're not in the sudoers list. So if that works for you, then you know now you are a sudo user and you can run all commands as root instead of using the root user. So in the next video, we're going to see how to set up SSH keys so that you can log in via SSH and that will improve our security. And then after that, we're going to disable the root login and their password logins so in this video you've seen how to create a new user and add them to the sudo group 
So that's it for this video. I will see you in the next video. Just remember that if you're watching this video, you can watch the entire cyber panel tutorial in the playlist. If you're on Windows, watch the Windows playlist. If you're on Linux or Mac, watch the playlist for that. So I'll see you in the next video.